Hi. As a lady going through early menopause, um, due to having to have a hysterectomy a year and a half ago when I was 45, um, I struggled um, from the moment I started perimenopause. Um, I was bleeding an awful lot, um, hence the reason why I had to have a hysterectomy because I was bleeding so much um, that I my iron levels were on the floor, I was exhausted all the time had no energy for anything um, I was sleeping quite a lot throughout the day in between um, work um, and it was tough it was really tough but in that time was um, even tougher that um, I started not because I couldn't exercise and exercise is my go-to for feeling good about myself um, and feeling good in myself because I couldn't exercise I didn't have the energy um, not only was I putting on weight, um, but I was craving sugary foods to get my sort of happy fix, if you like, um, like chocolate and things, um, cakes and all that. So basically, um, I had, I've had like three or four years of turning to all those naughty foods because I was going through the menopause for a couple of years and then I had my hysterectomy. I was recovering from that and then I've, last year and a half, I've been just sort of juggling with finding the right HRT for me because it, some of it will work for a little while and then I'll go backwards in my sim menopausal symptoms and then I'd have to try something else. And I think I've kind of found the one now for me, which is good. Um, but where I've got into this habit of weekend eating, binge eating, uh, chocolate, cakes, you name it, I love it, and drinking alcohol, obviously. Um, I've got into that habit um it's hard to get out of that and now i'm trying to get fit and healthy and try and lose the stone and a half two stone that i put on uh while i was going through the perimenopause and the hysterectomy and everything else um, i put on a couple of stone um uh, which was really disheartening um so and now being older and going through the menopause it's harder to lose it i've been flitting between the same um few pounds um for a good year and a half now um and don't feel like i'm getting anywhere but that's because i'm not eating great at the weekends so i've only really got myself to blame on that one um <clears throat> so what i'm doing is from the first of may i'm going to be going on a <clears throat> journey for three months of not eating sugary foods not eating foods high in fat and not drinking any alcohol for three months uh, to be honest i am absolutely terrified because i know there's going to be some tough days because i'm so used to going right it's friday saturday sunday let's just eat and drink whatever i want and they're going to be the toughest days for me um <clears throat> but i'm going to blog it every day and i'm going to hope to inspire more people um i say people because uh, hopefully ladies that are also going through the menopause and may be struggling with their weight and their um fitness and things i'm hoping to um inspire you to um, get out there and get fit and hopefully make some healthier food choices uh, for your body while you're going through the menopause um and also for anyone men or women who are just struggling with um maybe maybe you emotionally eat um a lot of people do eat emotionally um and binge eat for that and i know i definitely have um been doing that for the last few years um so i'm hoping to inspire and help other people by um blogging everything i do um along with a little bit of um maybe little educational tidbits and things that work for me um and um hopefully um we can get a good following and uh, help a lot of people um doing this um so i will sign off for now and not babble on um but yeah from the first of may i'll be blogging every day of how i'm getting on and uh and how it's going basically my main thing i do try and do non-scale goals that's the main thing but this is partly to do with losing that weight that i put on so i will include that as well um on this occasion um 
but yeah it's mainly about getting fit and healthy and strong and getting back to being me again because I feel like I've lost me along the way somewhere with all this um, perimenopause and menopause journey um so um wish me luck and I will see you on the 1st of May with the first of my vlogs bye bye for now